every word is in a dialogue with another word. When you choose a word, it, it already has meanings and it, it already is a reply or an answer to other words. And when you choose it, you anticipate an answer in the future. So, the word exists in real time and space for Bakhtin. The word does not exist in an abstract linguistic system. The word does not belong to Lang or, you know, the language system that Sassor talks about. The word has real history. The word has a past. The word has a present. And the word has a future. Stylistics has to take this into account and only then stylistic analysis will be justified. If stylistic takes into account the linguist, the abstract linguistic system or only one style in the work of art, the style of an author or the style of the characters or the, narration, the, the narrative style or the narrative technique, it will not be justice, Bakhtin says. What is meant by polyphony and carnival? We explain these two terms, um, but before we explain these two terms, we have to uh, explain what Bakhtin, um, uh, we have to explain Bakhtinian view of the genre of novel. Bakhtin says that previously novel was looked at from a traditional perspective. Some Critics said that it was an artistic genre because it had certain features that, um, be, because it shared certain features with the art of poetry. And there were other critics who said that the novel was not artistic, it was extra artistic because it did not share anything with poetry. So poetry was the reference point, Bakhtin says. The genre of novel was defined in terms of uh, poetic laws. The genre of novel was not literature because it did not share anything with poetry. The genre of novel was uh, literature because it shared certain features with poetry. Bakhtin criticizes this view. Because he says that in Western philosophy and literary studies, there has always been this tendency to make a case for centralization and unification. And behind this was ideology. Behind this was the ideology of the church. Behind this was the political ideology of unification. The view about language, that it was an abstract system, that uh, we all have the same system in our mind when we speak language, that the rules, that the, um, uh, that the rules, the grammar and the features of language were universal. Bakhtin says behind this view of language was an ideology the ideology of centralization, the ideology of unification. In Western philosophy from Plato to Descartes, from Descartes to certain modern philosophers, this tendency has always existed. Philosophy has always tried to unify or centralize discourse because political power, political government or the church in the context of Europe was in need of centralization. So it was in favor of the church, it was in favor of the political power to um, control people, to control various groups who were different in reality, who had different values and different worldviews. Under the garb of um, a single identity, under the pretext, un, under the under the pretext of a uh, unified culture, unified knowledge, um, under the pretext of a priori knowledge, 
which is the same in everyone's mind under the pretext of one god one religion the authorities try to control people so this ideology was working behind the the uh, centripetal forces that bakhtin says always existed in the uh, philosophy of western philosophers are uh, literary thinkers the, this this conception that there is a unitary language this conception that there is a single language uh, was a utopia it did not really exist it was merely posited so what really existed was the heteroglossia what really existed were the various languages within a so called single language but the language of the philosophers the formal language that they chose for their uh, theorization and philosophization was merely posited it not it did not exist in reality <clears throat> so bakhtin says that the novel should not be analyzed in with reference to the laws of poetry because poetry uses a language which does not exist so poetry is false bakhtin has a narrow view of poetry but maybe poetry for him is a metaphor for that literature which uses a unified language which uses a singular language or which tries to suppress Uh, the nature of language which which is heteroglot which is not based on any con- uh, abstract um, rules or um, any uh, singular um, linguistic system bakhtin says that the genre of novel has to be analyzed in stylistic terms but in such a way that we do justice to each and every element in novel he says that within the higher unity of the genre of novel there are uh, unities which are relatively autonomous so the diversity of various vices various unities in the novel Uh, gives birth to the higher unity which we call the genre of novel what are those unities that bakhtin talks about the first unity of the genre of novel is the direct authorial literary artistic narration the second unity of the novel is the stylization of the various forms of oral everyday speech The third unity in the novel is the stylization of the various forms of similitary everyday narration such as the letter the diary etc etc The fourth unity in the novel is the various forms of literary but extra artistic authorial speech for example moral philosophical or scientific statements The fifth unity of the novel is the stylistically individualized speech of characters. So these are various unities within the higher unity of the novel and these unities though they are relatively autonomous make up this whole which we call novel. You may now understand why Bakhtin is dividing novel into various unities. This conception of his is based on his conception of language. Language is not singular. Within a so-called unitary language, there are other languages. So within the so-called unitary language of the novel, there are other languages. These languages are dispersed in this novel and in this sense novel is different from poetry so he gives priority to novel saying that the novel is a, is a real genre and the genre of poetry is not real because the genre of poetry is based on 
a language which does not exist and the genre of novel is based on a language which really exists. Okay, so what was the shortcoming of traditional stylistics? The shortcoming of traditional stylistics, according to Mikhail Bakhtin, was that traditional stylistics chose only one unity among many other unities in the novel and, and analyzed that unity as if it was the whole novel. For example, the authorial style was chosen for literary analysis and the authorial uh, uh, choice or the, the, and the authorial uh, style was based on a unitary and um, a singular language. So by analyzing the language used by the author, the critics and the uh, literary theorists thought that they were analyzing the whole work. But Bakhtin says that it was a mistake. We have to analyze all the vices that exist in the novel. So here comes the concept of polyphony. Polyphony means the various narratives that exist in the novel. In novel there are various characters, different characters. Those characters have got their own worldviews. They have got their own vices. They have got their own conceptions. Those vices, those worldviews are in dialogue with one another. Every character is trying to appropriate the world around him or her to his or her own purpose. And that is his conception of, uh, that, that is Bakhtin's conception of language also. So polyphony refers to this diversity of vices, this um, conflict between various characters uh, who have uh, different worldviews and different conceptions of the world. This is polyphony. So carnival also refers to this diversity, to this uh, world where there are um, people with different opinions and with different worldviews. This can exist only in the genre of prose, in the genre of novel, Bakhtin says. Poetry may have um, various vices, but those vices, Bakhtin says, are controlled by the unitary language of the poet. The poet is a dictator. He controls the vice of his characters. So poetry doesn't uh, represent the reality that is heteroglot and not uh, uh, that is not monologic. So the language of poetry is monologic for Bhakti, and the language of the novel is uh, dialogic for Mikhail Bhakti. Bhakti says that these heterogeneous um, unities in the novel the unities that I just discussed, combine to form a structural whole. And that structural whole is the genre of novel.